Well, hello everybody, how y'all doing? I'm doing all right, I'm a hot mess today, literally, and that's okay, uh, it's hot outside. Um, I thought I would come on and share my latest blood work results. Uh, I am very excited, can you tell? I'm excited. Um, I got some really great news, some good news, and some, okay, let's, let's improve uh, news, but the big news is that 20 years ago, I tested positive for ANA, which is indicative of like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, that sort of thing. Um, I never pursued it because, you know, I was in my 20s and I was like, what are they gonna do? Um, and I didn't want much like doctors at that point because of all the trauma I had had. So I didn't pursue that, but with everything going on with my kids and all of the health problems I have had, I decided to get retested. It came back negative and I could cry literally right now. I'm fighting back the tears because I, it's like a 30 year wait is off my shoulders. Um, I am so excited about that news. So that yay. Um, so now I know, but I don't know then what other things are happening. <laughs> so we'll have to figure that one out. Um, the good news is, and I think it's still great news actually, is that everything on my blood work has improved except two areas. Um, everything, I like really well, like improved really well. My um, thyroid improved, um, I could not believe that. I was like, what? Uh, it did, and that makes me excited. Um, I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism um, and I, um, with my doctor's knowledge, please know, he wanted me on medication and I said no because of what medication does to me. Uh, you know, lose my hair, that kind of thing. Like go completely bald, that kind of thing. Um, so I did some research on my own and I mega, di mega dose um, B12 and the bees, like a lot. And so he is aware of that. Um, and my levels have greatly improved. I'm this time I was a 3.1. I think last time I was a, a 3.5 some something because it's like a couple numbers after that. It was a 3.1 something this time. Um, let me see. Oh, I wrote it down. I, this time I was a 3.184. So and last time I was a 3.563 with my thyroid level. So um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm really excited about that. Um, my kidney function has improved, which I have been really worried about that because all the years on HCTZ and with my diabetes and stuff, I've been really worried about my kidneys uh, because my levels have always been not good. And so they are all like really well, I think they're all in normal level now actually. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then my cholesterol panel, I, my mind was like blown, um, really, really impressed with with it because my uh cholesterol hdl ratio is 3.4 which when i started i was a 5.8 um you know when i started um i was a vegan when i was a vegan and then you know, then went to vegetarian and whatever um my triglycerides were 351 and they're 90. um everything in my panel improved. I went, my cholesterol went from 204 to 177, that kind of thing. Like I, I improved, I improved, everything improved. So I was very excited about that. Now the two areas that did not improve was number one, I cannot do anything about it. It's my body. And that is my white blood cell count will cycle between really high and then go back to normal. And right now we're in a high cycle. We don't know why that happens. My doctor says he always keeps an eye on it. But right now I'm in a really high white blood cell. So I don't know. I do that in cycles for some reason. Uh, anyway, so the next thing that we knew, I knew was not gonna be that good, that I knew I was gonna get worse on was my A1C. And that's because I had the gastritis and I ate all the breads and ice cream. The vanilla ice cream, it has to be plain vanilla. Um, and so I did, was doing that for a while for my gastritis. And then I went down to three pieces of bread today, down to one and then to none, uh, during this A1C cycle. And, um, so I'd say about the last five, five or six weeks, I haven't had any bread. 
Um, and so, um, other than like, I will do my, I know they call them cheat meals. I don't like calling them that. It's just a meal to me. But anyway, um, my A1C went to 6.3. Uh, it was, I think last time it was a 5.9 or a 5.7. I'm not sure. But it, it went to a 6.3. Um, as long as I don't get gastritis again and have to eat bread with my stuff, um, that will just go back down. So it will. I am unmedicated and, and I keep my A1C down through diet and exercise, um, which brings me to my first goal, which is my steps because I was watching, no watching, I was reading um, a couple articles about how to increase your metabolism because something's going on with my body that I, I just, I just, after I took the pill that made me lose all my hair and I gained the weight with that pill, just, it's just not coming off. And I know I'm getting close to menopause. I mean, I'm 52. Um, I still have regular cycles, but everything else is kind of showing me that, hey, you're you're there. This is the last thing that's got to go. I don't know. It's frustrating that that's the last thing. But um, I was reading that if you want to increase your metabolism, you know, you do weight-bearing exercises to increase your muscle mass, which is very hard for me to do because of all my hernias. Um, my top four have already popped out. I have the one massive one on the bottom that I'm protecting because all these other ones up top, if if I never get them fixed, as long as I don't estrangulate, I'll be okay. I can live with them. The one on the bottom, I can't. So I don't want to do anything that is going, so I'm scared. I, I don't want to do anything that's going to pop that out, so I'm scared because I don't want to have another surgery. I don't. Um, so we're knocking on wood right now. Anyway, so um, that was kind of bothering me. Like, I'm like, I don't, I, how am I going to do enough weight bearing to actually get enough muscle? So I was reading some articles and they say that t it, another way to, to change your metabolism is to walk 15,000 steps a day. And I'm like, hey, I'm at 11. Regularly, I'm at 11. Sometimes I hit 12, but I'm I'm, I'm regularly at a little, I'm almost there. So I, I want to do that. I'm going to be doing that. I am going to be doing some arm. I know I always say I'm going to be doing some arm, but I'm really terrified. I'm not even joking. So I'm going to try to do some arm, but I really am going to do the 15,000 steps and I'm going to build slowly because the weeks I do 13 and 14, they just kill me. Uh, I, I'm so done with life uh, at the end of the day when I walk that much. So I want to do like, the, you know, like the couch to 5K. I'm going to do the, I'm at 11,000 to 15,000 steps, you know, and kind of do it slowly over a few months. And I think that's totally doable. You know, that's a trip to the bathroom every day, you know, kind of an increase. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my plan for that. Um, now, as far as my A1C goes, as long as I don't get gastritis again and knocking on wood again, I'm trying to avoid anything that is an irritant. Um, I'm doing pretty good right now. And um, uh, as long as that plays out, my A1C, my, my, my daily blood draws are fine. I am fine. I am good. It's, it's when I have to start incorporating some bread to, to keep um, my stomach okay. That's when, of course, my blood sugar rises. And and then I'll eat ice cream. I will because I'm like, this hurts. And then I'll eat some vanilla ice cream. So I haven't done that for weeks. So I'm good with that. And I haven't had bread for, for like I say, what, five, six weeks. So I'm, I'm doing okay with that. Um, barring gastritis, my A1C will be down next time. It will. And, and I know that. So anyway, that is my results. Um, my husband is home for like, this is like, I, I think for this whole year, he's been home a total of five weeks. And when he's home, the schedule is just blown out of the water. Um, cause we're either spending time with him or trying to incorporate two different schedules. Um, my son and I are on a, and he's on something. And then we try to, to mesh. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of hard to film. Um, it's kind of hard to do anything. So, um, my plan is probably through the summer every two weeks and then in the fall we'll see how we do i have some hush hush thingy thingies that i'm working on 
um, that I don't want to say anything about um, yet, but I probably will next month. This time next month, I'll tell you about something. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you all are doing well and you're having a fabulous summer and you're not in one of the heat domes because, dang, I mean, we're getting pretty hot here in Kansas, but um, y'all y'all getting bombarded today in the East Coast. So I hope you all are doing okay and you have a good one and I will chat with you later.